This is Echo 3, and let's continue discussing our modded career mode playthrough. In the last video, we accepted a contract to take an inspector on a certification flight for our Trans Kerbin Airline program. We also took a simple survey mission to take a crew report just north of the Space Center. We can fulfill both of these with a craft we've already designed, so we'll use it. We'll put our inspector, Thomny, in the cockpit, and since we're going to Valentina's Glory, I think she should fly on this. Best of luck with this flight for the KAA certification. You have a f the future of the space program in your hands. So fly straight and bring it home. Fly safe. That would probably have sounded better in a different accent. Okay Val, here is your flight plan. We need you to fly north to the survey location and take a crew report below 18,000 meters. Looks like she's got that. Then fly east to the test area. Let's look sharp out there. Everything is being graded and the entire trip is being recorded. Please watch what you say over the comms. I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed Val has a bit of a mouth on her, especially if things aren't going her way. All right, good job with that survey, Val. Now we just need to fly over the testing location. Make sure when you guys are doing contracts to read the fine print carefully. In our case, there is a particular altitude we need to reach for this contract. We're a little below it right now, so when Val gets to the test area, she will have to pull up, and that should complete that part of the contract. But a lot of contracts will have speed requirements, and sometimes they have speed and altitude requirements, and you've gotta meet all of those. And with some of these airplane contracts, we have to land safely, not supposed to destroy the plane, I know, that's why I sometimes am going to trust Val a little bit more than Jeb on a few of these contracts. Anyway, Val is doing a great job with this particular contract. Here we go, we've just got the altitude and she just needs to fly home. We can select that on the map and she will fly straight there. I really like this design. I think we should probably use it in the future if we take some more passenger contracts. Maybe one thing we should do is tweak the amount of fuel it can hold. It's kind of limited. I mean, right now it's fine for everything I've used it for, but I'm thinking if we have to fly like to the desert airfield and back, that it's going to need a lot more fuel to be able to do that. But other than that, I, it seems like a great plane. It flies well, handles well. Just have Val bring this in for a landing. She's coming in a little fast. So with a few S turns here, there we go. She's bled off the speed. Slow down carefully. All right, now we just gotta drop off the inspector and that's done. Good job, Val. All right, what we need here, looks like we got some science to work with and we've got quite a bit of funds. Let's take some of those funds and finally upgrade a few of the buildings around here. I'd like to upgrade the hangar. That will finally let us have more than 30 parts on a craft and it'll let us have some basic action groups. We'll upgrade the runway so we can build some bigger planes as well. And mission control. We can have seven contracts instead of two at a time. I don't think that's gonna be a big deal like for our next couple missions, but I'm planning soon to hopefully have multiple contracts in a mission. Hey, this survey mission looks really interesting. Check out some crash site. What has crashed on Kerbin besides Jeb? I'd like to go see what that is. I think Jeb would too. And here's another one to just meet a particular speed requirement at a particular altitude. As I'm going through these contracts, if anything looks interesting to you, just leave a comment about having me complete that contract in a future video. I'd love to hear back with you guys and hear what you'd like me to do in this series. I want this to be fun for those watching. I mean, it's fun for me playing, but I want this to be fun for you guys as well. So this survey, for this, uh, I guess not a survey mission, it's, I don't know what it is, exactly a check out this crash site mission. It's all the way up near the North Pole. So we're gonna need uh, a little bit more fuel. Kind of similar to our passenger design, except I'm gonna just throw on more fuel on this. And I'm gonna do just pretty simple plane. It's gonna be similar to what we've been making before. Just wanted a little bit more fuel on it. I like to, put the engine nacelles and attach directly to the body as opposed to the wings. 
it just seems to make it a little easier for placing and just get everything to work. I use the offset tool quite a bit. I am watching my center of mass, my center of aerodynamic pressure, just to make sure everything stays mostly stable. When you're building an airplane particularly, you want it to be fairly maneuverable, which means you need the center of aerodynamic pressure to be close to the center of mass, but obviously you don't want it in front of that, which will create an unstable design. I need stability, but not too much stability. With a rocket, generally I want a lot of stability. It's not doing sharper turns or anything. I need it to be able to make a, a gradual turn for a gravity turn. And then once it's in space, it, it doesn't matter. And okay, this looks like a decent design. We just need to, I can't see much else what we need to do. I don't have any cargo things we can put in there. Let's have Jeb and a scientist and check this out. All right, on the runway, Jeb, we're flying north. So let's uh, set that as our destination. Turn on SAS, turn on the engines. We're way up there by the North Pole. All right, Jeb, can you get us there? Of course you can get us there. Can you get us back? I, yeah, that's maybe debatable. So I have this airplane autopilot mod. I have never used this before. I'm thinking about using it to fly all the way to the North Pole. That's going to be a kind of a boring trip, flying a quarter of the way around Kerbin. So... I'm going to try setting the autopilot and then just letting it fly. And for your sake as well, let's just cut out all of the video of that. We will take off and start flying in the right direction as I'm trying to learn how to use this autopilot mod. I have messed around with the autopilot on NetJeb, but not atmospheric autopilot. I'm just, I've never used this mod, so I'm just learning the interface on it. I do eventually get it figured out well enough to fly over there, which was quite the time saver on my part. I could just set the time warp and set the autopilot to just get me close, and then I can play on my phone or something for the whatever half hour that it takes. The Juno engines are a great engine. They are not that fast, although they are, they are better than the propellers, if you want to make a propeller airplane using the braking ground parts, they do not respond well to time warp at all. So I do kind of prefer the Juno engines for this. All right, we have cut all that out and we are getting close. We can take crew reports and I've got some science instruments on this, so I, I took advantage of that. We're gonna land as close to this thing as possible. Is, is that a flying saucer? Well, I mean, was it a flying saucer? Obviously it's not flying now let's you know get some science around this area anything unusual we should check out any odd readings uh, it looks pretty typical here so what do we got going on here this doesn't look like it came from Kerbin where did this come from are there any more crashed flying saucers around the Kerbin system are there any on Duna what is going on around here this is, um, we got some more exploring to do. I like these contract packs where we got to go find some of these oddities around the Kerbal system. All right, now we just need to fly home. Unfortunately, we don't have enough fuel to fly home, which also means that second contract requiring us to land back at the Space Center, we're not going to complete it in this flight. We can complete it next time, but uh, we're not going to get this craft home, at least not without just doing the standard land and hit the recovery option, which is what we're going to have to end up doing. That'll get us the science, which is a decent amount of science for discovering this. And we got some polar science, some different crew reports, some EVA reports. This, you know, not overall, not bad, at least science-wise. Fortunately, we couldn't complete the two contracts and get the funds for all of that, but... I'd say a worthwhile mission and finding a UFO on Kerbin, that's, I'd say that's worth it for a mission. All right, so we now can try to finish that one we didn't complete, but maybe we can do two at the same time this time. Uh, here's an altitude one for like 10,000 meters. 
I think we can get up to 10,000 meters. Maybe not easily, but I think we can do it. And that last plane we used obviously can meet the speed requirement easily. I think it can also reach 10,000 meters if we, if we push it. So we're gonna need a pilot who can push our plane. Let's, you know what, let's drop the fuel. We're just trying to meet a speed requirement and an altitude requirement. We don't have to fly far. All right, Jeb, let's take it up all the way up here. This uh, flight model here, I can fly straight for a particular amount of time to get our speed requirement. We have to fly level. It's a nice thing with an autopilot. Push this thing up. We're going to make 10,000 meters. Yeah, we are. I, you know what? Not a bad plane here. Uh, I just didn't put enough fuel on it to go halfway around Kerbin. Other than that, pretty good. If you are enjoying this series, uh, please remember to hit the like button. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, well, what's wrong with you? Well, maybe you've got better things to do with your time. But if you could subscribe to this channel, let me know that you are enjoying my content. That'd be really nice. This is Echo 3, and thanks for joining me for part four of a modded career mode save. See you next time.